What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, my name is Amanda. Today's video is definitely vacation inspired. I was kind of inspired by all the vacation wear that Zara was bringing out online. And I feel like a lot of people are going on vacation right now. At least that's what it seems like online. So I figured it was the perfect time to do something like this. Not everything though is vacation wear. There are a few random things here and there. There are some sizing things that I definitely want to address with you guys. So if you want to see what I picked up and how they're fitting, then just keep watching. All right, before I jump into all the little outfits and things that I picked up, if you guys are looking for more personal content from me, I know some of you guys are here strictly for the fashion content, but some of you guys also love my vlogs and the more personal things that I do. So I've decided that with TikTok, I'm gonna be doing a lot more personal, like mini vlogs, things with my family, things that I do day to day. Um, since I'm not able to upload vlogs all the time, like I really want to, it's a lot working, doing YouTube, being a mom, all of that. So I'm trying to juggle it all and I think that's what I've decided to do. So I will leave my TikTok and my Instagram linked down below for you guys to check it out. And you'll see that I've kind of like mixed up different types of content on my platform. So just to kind of switch it up a little bit and for you guys to get different versions of me, I figured that that was the best way to do it. So first thing that I'm gonna show you guys are some jewelry and some accessories. One thing I wanna say about Zara is do not sleep on their jewelry and their accessories. They always have fire belts, fire accessories, like earrings, rings, things like that. Do not sleep on those things. I feel like Zara really does a really good job about bringing the cutest, most expensive looking but very affordable jewelry and accessories that I cannot find anywhere else. At least whenever I look for things like this anywhere else, they look too cheap and Zara just has a way of making gold like more of a matte color and just the designs that they create and things like that, they just seem so expensive but so affordable. So I'm excited to show you those things that I picked up. So I'll start with this gorgeous pack of rings. It comes on this little cardboard thing and um, I picked these rings up because I feel like they're so perfect for summer and especially for vacation. They just give a vacation vibe. And it's this really adorable, kind of like matted gold, um, almost like a totem pole face kind of a ring. So it's very, it feels very cultural. I think that's why I like it. It does, it feels very cultural and I love anything that's cultural, unique, especially like this. The only thing though is I'm pretty sure that these rings don't come in different sizes. I didn't have the option of ordering a, like a small, medium or large on the website. I think it only comes in a medium. So that's the only downside of this particular pack of rings. Usually mediums fit me perfectly. This one's a little tight right here. So I have to decide what fingers I'm gonna wear them on. And then this is the other ring that it comes with. It's like a pearl, just beautiful, kind of like a hammered pearl, gorgeous ring. And I think with this ring, I'm probably going to cut under here just so I can make it a little bit bigger because I really want to wear the face ring on my index finger and the pearl ring on my middle finger. I think that would be cute with them just right next to each other. And they're just a little too small. So I think I'm honestly, I think I'm just going to cut them and make them a little bit bigger. The next thing I got is another belt. You guys know that I love Zara belts, okay? I get Zara belts all the time and you guys always ask me where this gold belt that I always wear is from and it's from Zara, I tell you guys all the time. So I feel like if you find a good gold belt on Zara, snatch it up, because it's gonna be gone right away. So I've been eyeing this fish belt. It's actually called a minnow belt. And if you look really closely, so there's the fish head and the fish tail. And then I think the rest of the belt is supposed to be like fish bones. I love this. I love shit like this. This is my vibe. This is perfect for vacation, not only for vacation. I feel like it would be really good with a nice kind of like off-white um, outfit, like matching cohort outfit or something with just the gold belt, and maybe some beige sandals and a cute bag. This is perfect for summer, perfect for for a vacation wear. This is great to put around the middle of your waist when you're wearing a long dress, like maybe a button up t-shirt dress or something like that. It just adds something so special and unique to a simple outfit. So the sizing and belts at Zara are always kind of weird. This is a US 32. My waist is not a 32, but it's still fitted. And I feel like with this, because it pulls apart, 
if it's not big enough and just sort of comfortably sitting, you're gonna see spaces in between these little pieces here. So 32 is totally fine. It's still honestly fitted, but not too tight, which is perfect. So I can honestly, it'll sit at the smallest part of my waist and then also sit lower down on my waist. I don't really know how that works because my waist is not a 32, but. Moving on to some clothing, I picked up this white um, linen kind of corset crop top that laces up in the back. I got this because I really wanted it to go with these long wide leg linen pants. I think them together as a set would be so pretty with that gold belt. So I'm not sure yet how I think how I feel about this. There's no padding in the bra area. It's not very much support. It's literally just like a flimsy piece of maybe like a linen blend kind of a fabric. So I, it's still up in the air for me. I'm not sure. Maybe you guys can let me know down below what you guys think of it or how you think it looks on me. Just let me know. I got this in a medium and it fits true to size. So, I mean, that's good. We got something right, Zara. So the next thing that I wanna show you guys is this cute little skirt that I've been eyeing for a while. And it's very textured, so it feels very vacation style to me. I got this in a large and it's a good thing that I did because there is absolutely no stretch in this. There is a zipper in the back. And then hopefully you guys can see that texture it's really nice, but um, it almost reminds me of like a linen, like a woven linen fabric, but also burlap. Make what you will of that, I don't, I don't really know. Um, but there's a knot in the front. I think that it's really cute. I love that it has a, a little slit down the front of it, and I love the little fringe here. This is definitely screaming like wear me to the beach kind of, kind of thing. I think it fits really nice. Again, I haven't decided if I love it or not, so I'm kind of like leaning on you guys to tell me what you guys think about it. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback because honestly, I don't know. I just, I don't know. This next item is actually the exact same fabric. This is just in a pants version, and I was dying, literally dying to get my hands on these pants because they were selling out. Somebody on Instagram wore them in a cute outfit, and then next thing you know, they're sold out everywhere. I can't get my hands on them. So I was so thirsty to get my hands on these. They have this cute little fringe on the side. I had seen these before too, and I never honestly took a second look at them until of course I saw them on somebody else and I was like, mm, those are really cute. Um, they have two pockets on the back and then also the fringe is on the front pockets here too. So these are kind of a little see-throughs. So they're definitely meant for like vacation wear, beach wear kind of a thing. You don't have to, but just keep in mind that they are like semi-sheer, I would say. So I got these in a large. Now let's talk about the fit. They are too big in the waist, of course. I mean, manageable. If you threw on like a belt or something, like the gold belt that I showed you earlier, I feel like that would be really cute with these with maybe like a white top or something cute like that. But honestly, and I, I felt like I just knew that I was gonna love these and I put them on and I just think that the wide leg of it, I don't know, it's not doing anything for me and I think it's kind of unflattering on me personally. I just really don't like where the wide part starts. I don't know if that makes sense, but I just don't like the way that these make the shape of my legs look. Don't get me wrong, I love being a thick girl. I'm a thick girl, okay? That's just, that's who I am and I embrace it and I embody that. But I don't feel like this is flattering to my figure or doing anything for me. And if I don't feel completely comfortable in something, I know I'm not gonna wear it. And these things were $59. So I'm not gonna keep something that's $59 that I don't love. You know what I'm saying? Now, when I was telling you guys that I saw someone on Instagram wearing those pants in a cute little outfit, I meant with this top. I love this. This is like a chartreuse color. I love this color. Like, I love this color. I tried tying it like three different ways, and I found a couple different ways that I think I like tying it better, but I do think that it's a very cute vacation top. And I got this in a small because the medium was not available. So I feel like, I don't know, maybe if I had gotten a medium, I would like it better, but I don't know. Next is this gorgeous teal, 
turquoise kind of button-up shirt. I have been waiting for this to restock for years. Not literally for years, but I've been, it feels like years. I checked every day for this thing to come back in stock because I love the way that this color looks with lime green. I just think that that's really pretty. And you guys know that I have a lot of lime green things. I have some lime green sparkly shoes. I have a little lime green sparkly bag. And I told you guys that I had a vision for those things. This is one of those visions. So stay tuned for those outfits. Um, but it's very cute for summer, especially with the other colored accessories that I already have in my closet. So it just works. And I love it. If these shirts on the website don't say oversized, I always get them in a large or an extra large. If they're oversized, I either get a medium or a large, it depends. This right here is another item that I saw when it came out. And I knew that I loved it when it came out, but I was contemplating it for so long because I was like, do I really need that? I have a similar kind of bright green button up shirt in my closet already. So I was trying to like make sense of it in my head, like do I really need this? But this one is actually very different. It's a lot longer than the one that I have and the color of the green is different than the one that I have also. I think that this will be really cute, worn during the summer with some sandals or something like that, just kind of like as a dress or over maybe like a white bodysuit or jumpsuit I should say like a white jumpsuit or something like that this would be great to throw over a bathing suit when you're going to the beach this is just really great for so many summer occasions so yeah had to get her oh and by the way I got this in an extra large I ordered it online in an extra large because in the store it looked a lot smaller than it I feel like it should be so I'm glad that I actually got an extra large in this because I think the large just wouldn't be oversized enough and long enough to be a dress for me. So this one is perfect. Yes, I got this gorgeous linen top that everybody is getting. It was sold out for a while, but I finally got it. The only thing is I made a dumb mistake and ordered it in a medium instead of a large. This fits like your standard button up shirt. And remember how I was saying with the blue one? Whenever it's a standard button-up shirt, I always get a large. Didn't do that with these. Same with this. This one's a little different. I'll talk about it in a second. But I got this in a medium, and I'm going to exchange it for a large for sure because I envision this wearing on the beach or at the lake, wherever I am during the summer with a bathing suit, things like that. And for it to be worn like that, it needs to have, it needs to be looser. It needs to not feel fitted. It needs to be comfortable, loose, flowy, all of that. So the medium is just not quite there, but the large will be perfect. Also, this is the one that has the button in the front. There are some other ones on the website, like this white one, that don't have the button in the front. And might as well just talk about that right now then. So this white button-up linen top is the one without the button. I also made a mistake and got this in a medium. So yes, I will be exchanging it for a large and yes, I'm wearing it in the video. I mean, I had to wear something in the video, right? <laughs> Again, this fits like a standard size button up shirt from Zara. So I would recommend sizing up if you're kind of trying to wear it for like a beach wear, vacation wear, or just overall summer wear over like a jumpsuit or something like that. I would recommend sizing up. The next one that I'm excited to show you guys are these beige kind of real leather, by the way, real leather sandals. So these are a little bit more pricey and I think that's probably why they haven't sold out online yet. Um, they are a little bit on the pricey side because they're real leather, but I love the style of these. I think that these are, first of all, this style of sandal is very trendy right now, but not only that, I could see myself wearing this beyond the trend. This is just something great for summer, and I love the way that it looks with even things like this bright green color. Just adding a nice neutral to it is a really nice way to wear it. So when I said wearing this shirt as a dress with sandals, I was talking about this right here. It'll look really good with this linen top right here. Um, this is just also a really great beige color. So it's very, it's like in between warm and cool. It's just perfect. It's just perfect. The only thing is I sized up in these shoes and got a nine because 
For me, Zara shoes always run a little bit small, most of them anyways, and I thought that it was gonna be the case with these, but these are too big on me, so I have to stay true to size and get an eight. So if you like these kind of sandals, I recommend staying true to size. The last two things in this haul that I have to show you are not from Zara, but wait, okay? They are a very hyped up item that everybody has, that everybody wants right now, so it's worth sticking around. We've been talking about cargo pants a lot, we talked about the Zara satin cargo pants. I really wanted some cargo pants that would be in my closet that I could see having forever, to be honest. I will wear cargos until the day I die. I don't care how old I get. They're just nostalgic for me, and I love the way that they look. So I really wanted some very good quality ones, and I got them from local European. Yes, I did. I was on the restock list. So, you know, I jumped on it right when they gave that notification. I really, by the way, really wanted the camo ones. They were sold out so quickly. By the time I went to go buy a pair of the camo ones, they were already gone. It was only the last two colors, the green and the black left, so I just picked those up. And funny story about these, I actually ordered these because I thought from what other people were saying, I thought they ran really small, so I got the large, extra large, and when I put them on, they were I was swimming in them. Even by pulling the tabs super tight, as tight as it could go, they were way too big on me. But I looked at them and I was like, man, these look really kind of like a masculine style. I wonder if they would fit Dante, my fiance. And he tried them on and they looked really good on him. So he ended up keeping those two and I ended up getting them in my size. So now we just have some matching cargo pants. Um, whoo, that was a long explanation. Anyways, these are the olive green cargo pants from local European. They are expensive, okay, but they do have afterpay, so I feel like that kind of makes it a little bit easier to invest in them. They have, the, re the reason that they're so popular is because of these tabs right here on the back. You can cinch in that waist and not have a gap. They're very flattering, they kind of create an hourglass figure for you, which I think is one of the things that people love about them. They have buttons down the middle, which is the only thing that I don't really like about them because who wants to sit there and undo buttons? Nobody. They have um, flat pockets in the back. These are a true utility cargo, by the way. These feel like a, a canvas. They feel like very sturdy, thick, good quality, it might be getting a little too hot to wear these, if I'm being honest, but who cares? Um, and then they also have a little tie at the bottom. So yeah, these are just a true utility cargo pant. Love these. And then I got the same ones in black. And you know what I like about the material is they're kind of shiny, but they're not too shiny. So they're not as shiny as the satin ones that I showed you guys from Zara, but they do give you kind of like a nice sheen and they look very expensive and they look very good quality. So these are just ones that are gonna last forever, to be honest. All right, you guys, that is it for today's Zara haul. Don't forget to check out my TikTok and Instagram for other types of content. And I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. The next one will probably be outfit inspo using some of these items, maybe some other items. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Do change overnight.